You're watching Rose Holman Men's Basketball on the Indiana Sports Network. This program is a copyrighted production of Indiana Sports Network and cannot be shown, reproduced, or redistributed in any way or in any form without prior written permission from Indiana Sports Network. Welcome to Rose Holman Institute of Technology, the U.S. News and World Report's number one engineering school in the United States that offers a master's as its highest degree for 18 consecutive years. Rose Holman, where you come to find yourself. Find yourself through personal growth, through personal development, through study, research, and invention. Rose Holman, your home for academic and athletic excellence. You are watching HCAC Men's Basketball at Rose Hallman on the Indiana Sports Network. This game is presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. If I crave something, I have and to And welcome have to Holbert Arena on the campus of Rose Hallman Institute of Technology for a crucial ball game for Rose Hallman. The women are going to play in a crucial one as well at Franklin. Franklin's men's team is here at Rose Hallman, and it is the, one of the most important games of the season. My partner is Walter Gordon. I'm Herb King. We're going to bring you all the exciting action of Rose Holman basketball here on Indiana Sports Network. And when we say it's important, we, we keep saying this over yeah, and over, yeah. but each game has been really important again, and it builds as this season has progressed. You know, it's kind of like the, uh, the boy who cried wolf. <laughs> wolf, wolf, it's an important game, important game. Well, yeah, they're, they're all important, but, you know, when you get down to the end of the regular season, uh, everything is on the line, postseason bursts versus uh, sitting at home, you know, maybe hosting a team versus going on the road. Everything on the line for both of these two teams today, um, and, and this is uh, so important. And it's, it's, it's a, a fun atmosphere, as you will see the great crowd here tonight already coming in. That's a great atmosphere when you have uh, everything on the line on the last game of the regular season. I know uh, Commissioner Jones and his staff, they are just – giddy but also uh, kind of uh, nervous uh, because when the results started pouring in uh, then they'll be able to, to uh, come up with the feeding and that's the issue the results have to pour yeah. in because we've changed the framework of what the HCAC does for their conference tournament right. it's not an everybody in but it's okay. getting closer mm -hmm. there's eight teams now that will vie for the conference title in a tournament format where there normally would be six in a regular opportunity but because of COVID and multiple cancellations throughout the season they've decided to go with an eight-team format but to include teams in the eight-team format it's based on power rankings right. the computer power rankings is what it's based on and so these teams will be vying for it Rose Holman could win and still find itself in fifth place if uh, one of the scenarios, now that's not the normal scenario. Right. Currently, they're second place in the conference uh, because of this power ranking. And when you look at, um, you know, uh, waiting on the computer to give you your results, I know uh, <laughs> there are plenty of college coaches across the, the nation in all divisions that just love that scenario, don't they? When you look at, you know, not not exactly uh, having to go by the one losses, but have to worry worry about computer rankings and things of that nature. But that's just the way it is for this year uh, here in the, here in the conference uh, because of the unbalanced schedules. Some teams uh, have been able to uh, play more than others, and to try to uh, uh, make it fair to you know uh, to take make it so that you're not putting war more weight uh, for a team that played a more robust schedule because they were healthier. You know, we've got to even it out some way, and well, one of the ways to include two more teams and also uh, to go by the power rankings. And that will allow teams that were on the fringe to guarantee and make the conference tournament. Yeah. But then so there's another fringe after that. Unfortunately. There's yeah. always a fringe. <laughs> there's there. always you know, a fringe. Everybody. But if yeah. you're looking at it, first place right now in the conference is Hanover. Yeah. They're 14-3 and three in the conference, 18-4 uh, and four overall, and they are the cream of the crop in the they men's are. game for mm -hmm. the HCAC. Second place right now is Rose Holman. They're 9-7 and, seven and three, 13 and 9 in conference play. 
but the teams that follow them, Defiance, Transylvania, and Anderson, all are within striking distance of second place. So second through fifth, we really don't know what's going to happen at yeah. the end of the night. So when we walk away, Rose Holmes can win. We know they're in the tournament, but we just don't know if they're going to host on Sunday. You'll have to check on the Internet and make sure you check Rose Holman's page to see what's going on with the men. For the ladies, it's virtually the same kind of thing. It is, and when you look at, of course, Transylvania in the top, um, and then uh, I think Bluffton uh, in second, and then Rose Holman third. And when you look at that, you know, Rose Holman trying to go to, an, to uh, sorry, Franklin, get a big victory, um, hoping uh, that, that Bluffton hangs on, uh, beats Defiance. I know. Uh, Defiance Bluffton's playing the only doubleheader tonight in the conference. Um, so, um, you know, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer uh, for the men's seedings because of that 8 o'clock-ish start um, at, at Bluffton. So the Defiance Bluffton game, a lot of eyes will be on that. You know, um, hopefully in a moment, check the score. I know Bluffton was up 12 in the fourth quarter, so we're <laughs> go Beavers, uh, you know, we're Bluff, the Bluffton fans. So there's going to be a lot of rooting interest tonight as the night goes on. Actually, actually it's it, like this. It's called Biden Beavers, Okay, but whatever it's called, man, I'm all for it right now, <laughs> baby. Let me tell you, we're all in. What, what's that again? What Biden is Beavers. Biden like Beavers. That, man. Oh. <laughs> and with that, we'll pause. We'll, we'll come back with more talking about Rose Holman basketball here tonight on Indiana Sports Network. If I crave something, I have to have it. Well, so what are you craving? Like, what do you crave? Attention, apparently. Look at him all See, sitting in the middle. I know, right? <laughs> it is really awkward. You just chose to yeah. sit there. <laughs> Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. If somebody's kind of on the fence of going into a recruiting office or just reaching out to a recruiter, I would absolutely encourage it, if anything, just for the information. We have a lot of enlistment bonuses out there right now, upwards to about $20,000. If you're in college or you plan to be to college, this is a great choice for you because our organization, we look for students who want to go to college. We also have educational benefits where we pay up to 100% of tuition. Wherever life takes you, whatever stage, anything that you need, no matter the season, Getting there together. We are ready when you are. Crane cares. Melty cheese, grilled onions, and steak on this footlong Philly are so flavorful. Man, do I love a good steak out. Steak out, nice. You would not believe what they are doing in there. Making cheesesteaks? What are you, one of them? It's your last chance to try a classic or spicy footlong Philly. Hurry in today. You're watching College Sports on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. And welcome back to Holbert Arena on the campus of Rose Holman Institute of Technology as we prepare our pregame show here for the Franklin Rose Holman basketball game. And again, boys or men's version here at Rose Holman. Uh, big ball game. Again, Rose Holman finds himself second place in the conference today right, right now right. but at the end of this and it's where they want to be in that second or third spot they really do and one game can uh, change things so much when you look at where rose was at this time last week or after uh, the the uh, midweek game um uh, uh, earlier this week they were in third place behind anderson they beat anderson anderson plummets all the way down to the fifth spot so one game can change so much of course the, the main thing Number one for Rose Holman, you got to win this game if you want to uh, have a chance to host. And so, you know, it doesn't guarantee anything. You would love to be in a chance where a situation where you're guaranteed to host a uh, quarterfinal game, but you got to start with that win. And so, Rose Holman playing some pretty good basketball. Franklin winning their last two games, beating Bluffton and Defiance. So, uh, they're coming off of a two game win streak, trying to get their first uh, three game win streak uh, since very early in the season. So, um, you know, both teams looking to, to make some hay here tonight um, and to get a win on the last game of the regular season. Well, we talked Hanover right now is the cream of the crop for the HCAC, but they can be beaten, and they have yeah. been beaten. Yeah. But the other, the second through about, uh, well, really all the way down yeah. to the eighth place yeah. team You're right. uh, in this one, can anybody can win. Right. And, it, and they've proven it throughout the season. They've had really odd wins 
that have happened and we look and say, okay, how did this team win the ball game? And then how did they win by 20 or 30? Right. And that was Rose Holman this last uh, this last week. They win a ball game by over 20 points and we're yeah. like, whoa, we're, right. how did that happen? Right. And that's just consistently what's happened. The conference has been inconsistent. That's, really so has. that's the consistency of the whole thing. We don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be exciting basketball one way or the other. Yeah, we looked at last game, Anderson game, or Anderson just, quite frankly, they were ice cold and, and, and just couldn't hit uh, shots and turn the ball over way too much. Rose Holman took care of the ball pretty well. Um, they, they, they didn't, you know, scorch the nets. They shot 40, uh, 40%, uh, just, just a tick below their average for the season. But they did just enough and, and uh, just didn't let Anderson get comfortable at any point during the game. And you were seeing Anderson early in the season Smack down Hanover by 30 points, and that in their gymnasium, uh, where they averaged 1,100 fans per game. You know, so um, Anderson a tough environment. Rose Holman went there, uh, a, a big, uh, tough win, and and you just have to follow that up. You know, that game means next to nothing if you don't win this one. Yeah, and that's the the, the whole point of the season is you want to make sure the regular season sets up what goes on in tournament play. And for Rose Holman, it's a big opportunity for uh, the fighting engineers to step forward and really get after it. The most of it, one of the things that we'll talk about here in just a second, but uh, football players came up to yeah. us and they're like, yeah. hey, you guys are the ones that do the football games, right? Yeah. And so they were excited and they're like, yeah. look, we're all going to be here. They're all here the football tonight. team's going to be here. We're going to cheer yeah. on the basketball That's team right. tonight. And so these guys have taken a little break from their studies. Yeah. Normally, you don't see a, a huge crowd at Rose Holman. And right. people ask me, like, why does that happen? It's very simple. At the number one engineering school in the country, they're studying. And it's not like a joke. They study right. over and over. And uh, with that opportunity tonight, they've taken a break because they've been asked to. They know it's an important ball game for the athletic yeah. programs here at Rose Holman. They want to see the men have an opportunity for a conference championship um, just just like the football team did. And within that, uh, the football team is going to back the men's basketball program tonight and see if uh, they can maybe give a little more of a home court feel for the Rose Holman Fighting Engineers. It makes a big difference when the students are in the, in the house, in the Holbert Arena. I don't care if it's volleyball or basketball, these indoor sports, it makes a tremendous difference when the football players come they are very loud it makes not lots of noise they trip, cheer on uh, their classmates and and uh, their peers uh, it's going to be a loud and raucous environment here tonight um, as fans still pouring in uh, I would I would think that probably be the biggest uh, uh, crowd of the year there have been several games where we were not allowed to have any fans unfortunately because of COVID spikes that has been lifted, you know, folks are coming in, wearing masks and things of that nature, doing what they need to do to come watch some Austin Rose Home basketball. And excitement, we had a lot of parents coming in. Yeah. Uh, one set of parents, Henry uh, Krzyzewski's uh, parents, a six foot eight inch freshman from Naperville. His yeah. parents came over, talked to us a little bit before the ball game. I know they're excited to be here. That's right. uh, they haven't been down to uh, Terre Haute from Naperville in a while. and. They were excited just to come down and get to see their son and, and see an opportunity to, to uh, you know, win and put themselves in a position yeah. to win a, a huge set of basketball games this weekend. And with that, we're going to pause and we're going to say so long here for just a minute. And then we'll be right back with the starting lineups. You're watching Rose Holman Basketball on Indiana Sports Network. Introducing Sonic's new Car Hop Classic with double the beef, double the cheese, and now, double the choices. Try quarter pound double cheeseburger or slinger with tots for just $2.99. Get them now, ending soon. It's tax time. You need a professional with decades of experience. You need Goshen H&R Block. Nothing is more important than getting your taxes done quickly and correctly, up close and personal, by people you know and trust. This year, get answers to all your questions and your taxes done right by Goshen H&R Block. This is Sue Goshen from your locally owned H&R Block in Brazil. Walk in, make an appointment, or drop off your documents, and we'll tackle your taxes while you're away. 
Treatment for those with mental illnesses and addiction issues has evolved over the years. In the late 1960s, Indiana's mental health system began to take shape. From 1971 to 2021, Hamilton Center has touched the lives of thousands of people in central and west central Indiana. We are committed to the latest therapies to improve the quality of life for those with mental illnesses. Treatment works. Recovery is possible. And thank you, Indiana. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is Howie Sonic. The city of Brazil was founded in 1866. By 1876, there were two schools, seven dry goods stores, two hardware stores, four churches, and five drug stores. One of those drug stores is still there today, Lynn's Pharmacy. Lynn's Pharmacy has grown from a small neighborhood drug store to a modern pharmacy, offering prescriptions and medical equipment with old-fashioned values and unparalleled service. You can even step back in time and visit Lynn's Soda Parlor here at Lynn's Pharmacy, downtown Brazil. For the things you treasure and the people you love. Brian Sponsler and Ben Rice for Auto, Home, and Life. You are watching HCAC Men's Basketball at Rose Hallman on the Indiana Sports Network. This game is presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. And here are the starting lineups. First of all, for Franklin. Number three, Trey Flat for a freshman from Indianapolis. Number 11, Cody Samples. Number 15, Carter Crow. Number 31, Ryan Wiggins. And number 40 is Matt Kraus. Zero is Vuk Zuric. Number three is Bradley Harden. And number 15 is Jackson Kabrick from Jasper, Indiana. And number 23 is Willie Bowman from Germantown, Ohio. And in the middle will be number 42, Miles McGowan. He's a freshman from Indianapolis. This is a starting lineup they used at the Anderson ball game, and, and it, it doesn't have all the leading scorers. It just has a lot of hustle players, and these guys really got them off to a good quick start, and we'll see if they can do that this evening here at Rose Holman. Again, a big ball game for the Fighting Engineers. They find themselves in second place in the conference. And uh, with a win, uh, they'll make it in the conference tournament, but they'll be seated either two through five, depending on what happens with the rest of the ball games. And that's due to the power rankings that'll take place. A lot of score watching going to happen tonight, Herb, let me tell you. Krause will jump it up on the inside against Miles McGowan. Tips up and controlled by Rose Holman. Harden with the basketball. Trying to set that double screen. Here comes. Looking. High post. They'll give it up to McGowan. Zurich will hand it back to Harden. And again, McGowan gives it up to Bowman. Willie on the drive. He'll put it up. No. Pulls it back outside. Open look. Off the baseline with the runner, and it's good by Bradley Harden. Very nice ball moving on that on the first possession of the game there to get the first two points of the contest. Outside to Kraus. They'll give it back out to Wiggins. To Flap. 
On the outside is Crow with the drive, and he'll kick back outside, open look for a three, and shots up and no good, and a rebound by Kabrick as Wiggins couldn't pull the trigger and hit that one. So uh, it's one through five, they'll, they'll shoot the three from uh, anywhere. Not everybody shoots it as much, but the all capable three-point shooters. Got to be careful when you're helping uh, your, uh, your teammate on the defensive end tonight. Harden off the jerk screen, can't get it to Bowman, lob inside, and it's stolen good away, job. and a good defensive play that time by Ryan Wiggins. Two to nothing is our score. Again, Franklin with the basketball. Kraus off the screen, will put it in the corner, three-point shots up, no good, and rebound to Zurich. These are two really good rebounding teams, Herb, I and mean, it's gonna be interesting to battle the boards tonight. It's gonna be very interesting. Willie Bowman gets stopped on the drive. He'll pull it out. Good ball reversal by Rose Holman. Kabrick off the screen. Feeds to Zurich, mm -hmm. but it's stolen away. And a nice defensive play by Trey Flat. Boy, the pick and roll uh, worked so well the first time these two teams played this year. So you can see the emphasis there defensively for Franklin trying to shut down that, uh, that uh, pocket pass. Trey Flat, a freshman from Indianapolis, gives it out to Wiggins and then to Crow. With the drive, he'll kick it out to Flat. Flat using the screen will drive again. Wiggins now trying to go inside Good. and down on the floor is Good effort, Bowman. Bowman and he the ball's tipped out and a shot clock violation should give the should basketball. It should be one second. One I second think, on yeah. it. They're uh -huh. gonna say one second on yeah. the shot clock. What effort by Willie Bowman to get on the floor, hustle after that ball. One of the reasons why he's in the starting lineup, the hustle. Looking for the lob, they'll give it up. Ah. Shots up and got it in. Could have been really a really nice one there. play and a good yeah. out of bounds play to by Kraus. Kabrick on the drive at the other end and they give and take. They beat him down the floor for an easy layup. It's four to two, Rose Holman. You gotta love the push there for Rose Holman. When you see the opportunities to push, you gotta take advantage of that. Immediately three players are up for Nate Conley off the bench for Franklin. Flat kicks it back out to Wiggins, trying to back down, down on Zurich. Stay down. They stay down. Nice play. Crow yeah. for three, or Crow for three. Can't get it to go. And rebound comes out to Harden. Got to play the finishes there. It's going to a miss the shot. We'll make some as well. Rose Bowman, who can shoot bullets. the three, he'll take it this time. Can't get it to go. Rebound up and a high jump that time by Cody Samples with the board. Samples a really intriguing freshman. Run, learning how to run this team here at Franklin. With the drive inside and almost traveled with it. They didn't give it to him. Again, three-point shot up, no good. Tipped ah. out, and everybody's after it. And a loose basketball picked up by Samples. Shot and they're going to say a shot clock. I mean, I mean F, uh, I've got it mixed up. They're going to have to uh, put some time back on the shot clock. It didn't uh, reset after they hit the rim. And that's going to give us a chance for multiple substitutions coming in the game for both teams. For Rose Holman, it'll be Max Chaplin, number five, into the ball game, and along with 55, and that's Trey Wirtz. For Franklin, you know, coming in the game, Lynn King, also number. Jalen Love, and this is well, this is uh, King. I think you're gonna uh, like him. He's a really intriguing freshman as well from South Bend. With the drive. Again, freshman abound for Franklin. They've yeah. got some really good ones, 22 as well. As well. Mm -hmm. Shot, force three, can't get it to go, and a rebound will go out of bounds. It'll be Rose Holman basketball. That's exceptional Ooh. defensive effort there uh, for Rose Holman in that possession. Hicks in the game that time uh, guarding um, uh, Kraus. That, that's the guy. You're going to have to watch him. If you, you, know, you don't want to help off of him. You've got to know where he is at all times on the court. High post. They'll give it up to Hicks, who entered the ball game for Rose Holman. Terry Hicks with it again, looking inside. He'll drive. He'll put the shot up off the glass and got it. Terry Hicks coming off the bench there as a young man uh, is such a threat, uh, being able to facilitate and also get his own points as well. Four-point lead for the engineers. Outside again, Kraus. They'll feed King at the high post. He uses this the bob and weave on it. Can't get it to the outside and will the samples. He'll drive, kick it into the corner. Three-point shot up yeah. and good this time by Logan Hudgens, sophomore from Louisville. 
that's one that you'll live with, that corner three. You got to know who your shooters are. That's one that, uh, you know, you don't want to give them a wide open shot, but that's one that you'll live with. Kaberg with a drive, short shot, can't get it to go, and the rebound comes out to Matt Krause. And you can see the effort on the glass both ways for both of these teams. These are two really good uh, rebounding teams. Krause to King out on the top. Still looking outside, trying to find Jalen Love. Yeah. King with the That's drive, puts do. the shot up and in. The young, man, the young man is athletic. He's physical. Uh, uh, he is very twitchy. Uh, this is a young man going to continue to grow in stature and experience here at Franklin. Uh, he's going to be a load for a while. One-point lead for Franklin. Make that a one-point lead for Rose Hallman as Max Chaplin, the leading scorer for the Engineers, puts his first basket in. It's 8-7. to seven. First time this two teams played this year, 71-64 win by Rose. It was nip and tuck the whole way. Would expect the same uh, here tonight. Again, outside to Kraus. They'll give it up to Samples, who will drive in the lane, puts the shot in the corner, back to the outside with the three-point shot. Is Love oh. tipped around, rebound, and another shot. And wow, what a finger roll that time by Logan Hudgens. It sure was. Hudgens making a couple of plays here tonight. Uh, another offensive rebound. A couple of rebounds have been tipped by Rose Holman and they're not able to be gathered has led to points for Franklin. Kabrick looking to get rid of it. He finally does. Gives it up to Trey Wirtz. Wirtz on the low block. Puts that little short yep. hook up and Wirtz hits it. And we're tit for tat on this one. It's 10 to 9 as teams going back and forth with the lead. With that one point lead now is Rose Holman. Franklin with the basketball. They'll pass it out to Love. Out to King, Travel. he traveled oh with it, but God. they didn't get the call. Feed inside, tipped out of bounds. It'll be, <laughs> they give it to Rose Holman. Yeah, because they didn't get the travel, they gave us the tip. All right. Timeout <laughs> on the floor, Rose Holman leads 10 to 9. Some say that our approach to selling wooded ground is crazy. I prefer to think that we're nuts. Beach. Walnut. White oak. Hickory. We feel having an agent who is nuts about your property helps us attract more customers, making us, well, popular. For all your Indiana land needs, check us out at indianalandandlifestyle.com. Home. It can be the family farm, a small town, or a busy city. But wherever you call home, we are where you are. Ready to serve you and your family with compassionate health care of the highest quality. Serving the Wabash Valley since 1892. Union Health. Healthier together. This game is presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. And the score is 10 to 9. 1330 left to go here in the first half and Rose Holman with a one point lead. It's been back and forth and we'll see this all night. I, I anticipate this to be a very close ball game and one of those that neither team is going to have a huge advantage. Into the ball game for Rose Holman, Zachary Jackson, the junior from Franklin, Tennessee, who's seen some action in the last couple ball games. Duff also into the ball game with the drive, puts it up, can't get it. Rebound to Hicks, rebound to Wirtz, puts yeah. the shot up and in. Trey Wirtz with a basket. It's 12 to 9, Rose Holman. And they put Jackson in because Jackson is a very good defensive player. You can see him just hawking out in front. Zachary yeah, he, Jackson, he number and, 11. He and Harden the last several games have been uh, giving good pressure on the ball defensively, full court. Rose Holman will play as deep as 12 players in the first half. And again, King down low, puts it back outside and gives it up to Hudgens. Back to King. King looking and sizing up Wirtz will step back, puts a shot up, and Woo got it. What a tough step back there, Herb, at the horn of the uh, shot clock, and what a big shot right there is, uh, you, know, you know, go to the bench, and you can uh, get a couple of buckets here in the early stages of this game. Chaplin outside to Duff, gives it up to Jackson. Jackson trying to use the Wirtz screen, fumbles with it a little bit, Wirtz cross court, and he'll give it up. Now inside is... Yeah, man. Hicks, and he puts that one up. Terry Hicks, the junior from Fishers, and it's 14 to 11, Rose Holman. Hicks has a little bit of size there uh, on Hudges, who was trying to check him. 
Again, feeding the ball outside. They'll give it to King. Surprised to see an early break by a Kraus here in this game. Love has it stolen away. Duffed with the basketball in the open court. Lead pass to Hicks. Cross out to Chaplin. Uses the board. Can't get it. Rebound to Jackson. Gives it to Wirtz inside. And he's fouled. He'll go to the line. <laughs> oh, you got so poor Lynn King there. Just got a foul. And he just happened to be in the way. Wirtz got the uh, contact. And, and King just on the bad end of that. Timeout called. We'll take one as well. 14 to 11. Rose Hallman with the lead. Shopping for a new car? Don't settle. Welcome to your deal, your way, with York VIP. New vehicles in production arriving daily. Select your model, trim, and color. Reserve it. Find the car you want without the hassle. Easy and fast. Get VIP access at yorkchevy.com slash VIP. Start online today, and we'll show you why. We're not number one. You are. We're not number one. You are. You're number one at York. Sonic's 299 Car Hop Classic. A juicy quarter pound double cheeseburger or a flavorful signature slinger with golden brown crispy tots. A deal so nice, you should order it twice because it's only $2.99. Hurry in for a Car Hop Classic ending soon. You're watching College Sports on the Indiana Sports Network presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. And thank you for watching this evening as Crane Credit Union, Goshen H&R Block, the Hamilton Center, Indiana Army National Guard, Lynn's Pharmacy, Mossy Oak Properties, Sponsler Insurance, Sonic Drive-In, Union Health, and York Automotive are all our sponsors that we'll be using this evening. We want to thank our sponsors for stepping up to help us broadcast Rose Holman Basketball here on Indiana Sports Network. At the line will be Trey Wirtz. Uh, and Trey, the big graduate student, 6'7", from Cold Spring, Kentucky, will step to the line. Rose Holman leads by three. And again, the defensive pressure by Rose Holman with some of these guys has really been tuned up the last couple of weeks. It really has. And that's the, when you look at this team, it's got to start with the uh, defensive end. It's got to be a, um, a really concerted effort uh, to get stops. You know, you can't just try to outscore uh, uh, teams in this conference. It's, we have some really good uh, scoring teams that we can uh, play exceptional defense. Uh, that's really going to help out. Really nice job. Wirtz hits both free, thro free throws, and Vuk Juric steps in immediately in substitution, and uh, that'll stop the clock and force Franklin to move the basketball all the way up and down the court as Samples brings it up over the 10-second mm, line. Deal. Stolen away. Juric had it. Tipped it up to Jackson. He'll drive, gets it, and the rebound by Terry Hicks. Terry Hicks following the play, got the rebound and the stick back as Boog Jurek stuck his hand in there. All started by, ooh, Zachary Jackson took up that foul, but all started on the other on the other possession with his on-ball defense of the freshman samples. Kind of slowed him up a little bit. Jurek stole the ball, and then it started that transition opportunity. Jackson right there back at it, uh, just trying to smother the freshman. Take some time so that they start their offense with around maybe 21, 20 seconds as opposed to getting up and having 25, 26 to work with. King with a basketball. He'll kick it back to Samples, and they'll try to run the offense. Got to fight through screens today, Herb. Solid defense by mm -hmm. Rose Holman. They've caused problems the last four times down the floor for Franklin. Samples with the drive. He'll kick to the corner. Flat. Tries to drive. Nope. Samples back out again. He, he rushes a shot, puts Very it up. And shot. I mean, it doesn't hit much at all. King now with a long three. He can't get it. And a rebound with a block out is Chaplin. Great box out by Rose Holman that time. Max with the ball back out to Hicks. Hicks thought about that. Feeds it inside to Zurich. Good spin. Duck and cover. Got it up and in. Here and Luke is Here we go. pumped. Here Luke we go. Zurich. <laughs> Well, when you get Boot going, he's so emotional. He's uh, kind of, uh, I, I say this respectively, kind of the spirit animal of this team. It gives so much emotion. And when he uh, gets going, it starts to pour out of him and really spreads to the rest of the team. Flat gives it up to King. King on the outside to Crow. Got to get Kraus to touch. Crow yeah. with the drive. They'll put it inside. King again puts a shot up, ah. and they're going to call the foul off this back side. Mm -hmm. Or they may call the front one. We'll see. They got Duff, maybe. And Kraus hasn't had a touch in the last couple of possessions here, Herb. When you look at uh, the way this is going, Kraus is the man. Leads the team in scoring. He's got to get touches consistently. Uh, as uh, when you look at this uh, this game, 
Um, he's only uh, attempted one field goal, so I know it's good defense, but they've got to uh, uh, design things a little bit better so he can get a touch. A lot of times they'll start the, the uh, offense, top of the key is where he uh, spends a lot of time at the beginning of the offense. They run a lot of screens, motion, trying to get some mismatches. That's why I'm saying Rose has got to fight through screens tonight uh, to be able to stick with their man. King missed, missed that first attempt, and he misses mm -hmm. a second one. Rebound to Bowman. Yeah. Willie, who checked into the ball game, along with Hardener, back into the ball game. King shoots around 50% from the free throw line. of the two big misses. Rose trying to extend this lead. Bradley Harden. Need a little help here. Outside, having the ball poked away. He'll turn the corner. With the drive, he'll put it up. Wow. And Harden all the way to the basket. He scores. It's 22-11. Rose Holman with an 11-point lead. Got to keep the pressure down. Got to keep the defensive intensity up. Outside to King. King trying to work on Zurich. King picks it up in the corner to Crow. Back to King. Cross with the drive. He'll put it up. Gets wow. a shot blocked. Tipped away and picked up by Rose Holman. A nice job by Duff tracking it down. Hicks with the drive. The he goes coast to coast. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. That's a not a bad move. He's no. just got to get a little higher off the glass. That's right. Sample puts it out flat for three. Woo. Can't get it. Rebound is Hicks. And immediately you can hear the crowd for Rose <laughs> Holman. Those football guys are really into it tonight. They are. You got, you got fans all over the place hanging up top of the balcony and Boy, it's a, what a great environment here is helping out these engineers. Hicks looking to feed inside. Zurich in the post. No help. Vuk will back him down. Puts it down. No, Hicks off the baseline, and he'll pull back to Zurich. He'll drive. Fade. Hook shot. Got it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound to Hicks again. Hicks in the middle of the lane. He can't get it. And finally pulled down by Matt Kraus. Well, Kraus got fouled a couple of times there on that defensive rebound. Still no call. Been letting him play a little, a little bit tonight. King with the drive. Kraus with the That's three. Why. That's why he's got to get touches. That's Matt, what Matt Kraus can do. A quick timeout there for Franklin. 22-14, 8-24 to go in the first half. We'll be right back. You're watching College Sports on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. Rose Holman with a 22-14 lead, and um, with that, it's been the defensive end that's really led to the offensive explosion. Mm -hmm. They've been very active on the glass as well. They really have Rose Holman uh, with a little bit of an advantage on the glass right now, 13-7. I mean, look at the lead. Uh, kind of mirrors uh, some of that. Inspired play uh, by these engineers and a great crowd. Great environment tonight in the Hobart Arena. Bowman, pump, drive, can't get it. Rebound, Hicks got it up wow. again. Terry Hicks. Offensive boards abound now number six. The uh, sixth offensive rebound uh, for Rose Holman. And a lot of their points have come from those. It's a 10-point Rose Holman lead. With an outside sample again. He'll drive, tries to get in the lane. Mm -hmm. Good defense being applied. Number 15 with that Tough shot job. is no good. Yeah. And again, Carter Crow get it. Rebound to Hicks. Yes, Hicks with the layup at the other end. Rose Holman is beating Franklin down the floor and has on three occasions. Bradley Harden saw that play develop, that cross-court pass. Hicks put his hand up, almost an over it back. The defense by Harden smothering. Rose Hallman has played, like I said, defensively is where the difference is. Kick out, open look for Crow. He puts it up. He can't get it to go and rebound to Harden. Bradley Harden pushing it hard again. Harden to the basket, puts the shot up, can't get it. Rebound almost picked up by Rose Hallman, but it's out of bounds. Timeout on the floor, 26-14 is our score. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. It could be anyone. The star student the all-state athlete. I never thought it could happen to me, that I could lose everything. I found 
help, I found hope, I found recovery. I regained something lost. Gen Z is a small generation. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. This game is presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. And welcome back to the Holbert Arena. F fans, we want to thank the transportation specialist for Indiana Sports Network, and that's York Automotive. They have five locations in Brazil, Greencastle, Crawfordsville, and Plainfield. A 12-point lead, the largest for Rose Holman, with 7.05 left to go here in the first half. Speaking of the largest, man, this crowd is phenomenal here tonight. So many students and, you know, staff and uh, fans, parents, Families in attendance. This is a great, great environment. Backing down in the inside and kicking it back out was Wiggins. Wiggins gave it up ah, with the basket and a foul is Jaden Love, the 6'2 sophomore from Indianapolis. Went to Pike High School. Love is another one of these guys, one of these underclassmen uh, that uh, Franklin has uh, that are really emerging and starting to play good basketball. And uh, you can see. You know, I mean, the future is, is very bright. This one senior, of course, is a, 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 a fantastic senior in Krause. Uh, but there's, there's a lot of underclassmen that are just, uh, you know, kind of percolating around there for Franklin that are ready to bust out. Nine-point lead for the Engineers. They'll go to kick it out, and they get the blocking foul called on the drive as Bowman was taking it. He was fouled. That'll reset the shot clock to 20. 6.35 left to go here in the first half. Hicks is on the side, still rolling out that hammy. It's still yeah. giving him a little trouble. He was doing their uh, pregame and uh, trying to, you know, stay loose when he's not in the basketball game. And we'll, we'll, you know, try to get as many minutes out of him as we can. It provides great defense. Farnsworth is into the ball game for Rose Holman as well. Kabrick with Good the backdoor cut, wrap mm -hmm. around. Nice, easy layup for Vuk Juric. Well, what interior passing there by Rose Holman. Harden ends up getting the assist. Boy, uh, the great ball moving all the way around. Screen by Wiggins with the drive. Shots up, no good, and yeah, they're going to call, call a foul late off of it. It was call. a foul. Yes, absolutely. And Krause will go to the line to shoot two. I, I, for a minute there, I didn't think Krause was going to get that call, and I'm like, man, that, that, that's a tough one. He's been banged around a lot. Rose has been pretty physical with him tonight. I'm not saying that. By design, I just tonight. There's some of these times the physicality comes your way. He's been banging around a little bit tonight, so you know he, he definitely deserves that uh, uh, that call on the good drive to the hoop. Another missed free throw for Franklin. Yeah. Got to make these freebies if you're Franklin trying to get back in this game down 11. Zachary Jackson back into the ball game for Rose Holman. Have not seen Sam beat Ram yet. It's interesting, so. That's another, you know, one of our seniors that provides good defense, and, and uh, hopefully uh, when he gets his uh, chance, whether it be tonight or Sunday, he'll be ready to, to bust out, make some things happen. Kabrick, pump, he'll drive, looks to the inside, he'll pull it back out to Bowman, long three, puts yeah. it up, can't get it, rebound, fought four, still mm. scrambled four, and finally picked up by Matt Krause. And yeah, that pass was low, it's a tough shot to make when you have to go down to your knees to get the pass. A lot of noise on this end has taken a potential walk there. They didn't call that one. Hand off to Krause. Ah. He'll pull up for three. Got the shot up and Man. banged it home. Every time he's got a sliver of space, that ball's going to go up. You're going to get those high ball screens. Got to find a way to get through there. Farnsworth did the first one, not the second one. Kabrick, and they'll have a foul called. This one will go against Jaden Love. His first, the team's third. And neither team is getting closer to the bonus right now. <laughs> no, Four team fouls tonight. for Rose Holman, three for the Grizzlies. Other substitutions in, Duff back into the lineup. Zachary Jackson and Chaplin. Chaplin 
look to almost want to pull the trigger on that one. Duff, he'll drive the baseline, Good kicks back out. Jurich with the shot, doesn't get anything, <laughs> but he gets the basket. Yeah, if you look at him flexing there as he goes down the court, the strength got banged a little bit and uh, got the ball to go through the hoop. With it up, there he's pulling away. Farnsworth with the drive, puts it up, he's yes, fouled. And Boy. another defensive play by Zachary Jackson. Well, you can just see that that uh, pass telegraph samples. Uh, is, a, is a, Like I said, he's very intriguing. But just a freshman still learning the ropes here at the college level. I know it's the end of the season, but that's two times uh, that his uh, pass has been coming up the court has been telegraphed and stolen to go the other way. Farnsworth will put mm. the first one up, and he oh my gets everything. Yeah, that doesn't go in. Everything. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The whole rim. <laughs> Folks, we want to thank Crane Credit Union, Goshen H&R Block, the Hamilton Center, Indiana Army National Guard, Lens Pharmacy, Mossy Oak Properties, Sponsler Insurance, Sonic Drive-In, Union Health, and York Automotive. And when I say that, when, and this is the interesting part, a lot of times – College basketball players at Division Three level are not true point guards. Right. They're guys that have scored a bunch of points in, in high school. They th they're recruited because they can score. And it, it, it appears to me that uh, Coach Rusty Lloyd has said, okay, look, if Samples is bringing the ball up the floor, we're going to hawk him and make him do something well, with it. And to this point, it's really worked. It, it has. And, and Samples is just the, uh, you know, just, just – the, the, on the short end of that stick as it made that free throw. Rose Holman, as of late, has been doing that to everybody. So, you know, you look at Harden, you look at Jackson, they have been hawking the ball coming up the floor, and I think that's uh, really paid dividends for Rose Holman. Sam Nunn is into the ball game, and he really took Zachary Jackson's place. So Nunn will be the guy that's playing that man defense. Ah, get on him. Almost a switch. They'll pull it back outside. Trying to get on samples. They're going to pull it back outside. Wiggins with a three. Breaking Can't tech. get it. Rebound to none. Breaking and they'll tech. run the break again. Here it comes. Open put look for Chaplin for three. I love Can't it. get it. Rebound. Fought for it. Ooh. Picked out. <laughs> Rose Holman tipped it last. It'll be Franklin basketball. You notice the end of the big they haven't out of it. there. Oh, it should be. Yeah, it should be Franklin ball. But you, did you notice that? The, oh, wow. They called it Rose Holman ball? Did they really? They did. Holy they did. The, and, and again, oh, okay. look, well, we saw it from our right angle, yeah. and it looked like Rose Holman hit it, but in this case, they end up with the basketball okay. 20 seconds back on the shot clock when it was inbounded. Farnsworth says, okay, I'll take it to the hole. He gets mm. fouled. Again, yeah. Farnsworth with another hard move, and Isaac will go to the line to shoot two. Uh, he plays with such aggression and such force. He, man, this is a strong kid. Look at Isaac Farnsworth played football at Snyder as well. And just man, he uh, at six foot three uh, can can uh, pack a wallop. Timeout on the floor with four minutes left to go. It's Rose Holman 32, Franklin 21. I ran out of my pain meds too quickly. I took more and more to get through my day. I did anything to get them. I needed help. I needed hope. I found them both. Professional, safe, no wait times, quality treatment. Regain something lost. Call or go to winrecovery.org. Home, it can be the family farm, a small town, or a busy city. But wherever you call home, we are where you are. The healthcare professionals of Union Health since 1892, providing compassionate healthcare of the highest quality to generations of Wabash Valley families. Union Health, healthier together. This game is presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. And Rose Holman leads 32 21, and they've, Rose Holman is leading in almost every statistical category as a team right now. Uh, they've just they, they, played, yeah. outplayed Franklin. They really, they really have, and um, I just like the, the aggression that I'm seeing uh, with the engineers. Just for, you know, play 16 minutes with good ball. You still got 24 to go, you know, so there can't be any let up. Oh boy, short from there. 
and Farnsworth misses the first of those two free throws. We want to thank uh, York Automotive, our transportation specialist for Indiana Sports Network. They have five locations in Brazil, Crawfordsville, Greencastle, and Plainview. Hicks back into the ball game, and Terry's led a huge spark for Rose Holman in scoring, especially in the first half as he, when he's had his hands on the ball, he's really put the basketball in the hole. With a basketball now, King on the outside for Franklin. Tries to cross up Hicks and go towards the basket, and he stops. Can't get past him. On the outside then with the drive. No, the, it'll be King again. Had an open look. They'll give it to Sample. Takes Woo. the three and puts it in. That's a big shot right there by Sample as the uh, young man was able to drain that three. Bring it to a nine-point deficit for Franklin. Chaplin out to Duff. Now to Nunn. Sam Nunn works off the screen for Hicks. Wants to do something with Take it, it and has a chance, but he'll pull it back out. Duff, mid-range, 17 <laughs> footer, can't get it to go. Rebound wow. comes out to Farnsworth. Open look for Chaplin. He doesn't take it. I thought yeah. he'd take that right Crowded corner. corner. Crowded corner there. With the dry kick, open look for Duff. He'll take another three and he hits it. Dylan Duff is a boy, this is a young man that couldn't hit the mid-range there, which is more his game. At this point in his career, drain that three as he set back off of another offensive rebound. 36-24 leads back to 12. King trying to go one-on-one -on -one with Hicks. Lost that's it out of bounds. Idea. Yeah, I, nice I don't, defense. I don't, I, that's, I don't understand that. When I look at that matchup, Hicks is going to stop King nine and a half times out of ten. This is, uh, you know, I, I, you know, King is going to be good, but this is at this point in the stage of his career, He's not going to be able to ISO hit the top of the key and take no. it to the hole. So I, you know, like I said, get Krauss the ball, feed off of him. With the drive okay. inside and a nice easy layup for Jared Duff. Or Dylan, Dylan Duff. Dylan Duff is just showing his strength right there uh, as he's kind of playing a little bully ball around the basket, getting to the cup, flexing his muscles a little bit. Far as worth the defense on Krauss, making it tough for him. 14-point lead for Rose Hallman. Again, samples of the ball to King. They'll give it to Love. Offensive and an offensive foul is called on the screen. Moving screen there. A couple of uh, substitutions coming in the basketball game. A score of note, a couple of scores of note. At Manchester, Anderson up 43-31. to 31. Brings a smile to our faces here. You don't want anything untoward going on there. Um, at Transylvania, Earlham uh, down two late stages of the first half. Rose Holman women up in the second quarter by seven. Duff looks to do something with it. Pull it to Hicks, they're done, and back outside to Chaplin. Chaplin off the screen. Looks to step back, doesn't have it, feeds Hicks. Hicks trying to go to baseline, turn around, good gets block. it blocked, and that's a, a good play and a hard yes. move by Farnsworth. He's called for the foul, but he's really got to go for that one. Absolutely. And you can see the crowd, you're not seeing a lot of it because it's not on the right side, mm -hmm. but the crowd is packed on the left. There's standing room on the actual uh, walkway as they're coming out of this one, and there's a lot of people on this uh, end getting ready for it. Love with a three-pointer. Oh! Follow, and a good follow at that by Mac Kraus. That's low tip in dunk for Kraus. He was Johnny on the spot. Chaplin for three, can't get it to go. Rebound to Hicks with the follow. He's yeah, fouled, foul. he'll go to the line. He had the rebound as well. He's yeah. not to be denied right now. When Terry Hicks has been in the basketball game, he has made such an impact. You just can't get the minutes out of him that I know he would want to provide. I know he wants to play 35 minutes a game. We'd love him to play 35 minutes a game, but just you know, a little bit of health situation going on, giving us what he can and being very, very productive here tonight. Leads back to 13. Trey Wirtz in for Farnsworth. And here comes Sam Ram, and he'll replace Chaplin. In for the first time, Ram is uh, going to uh, be able to play a uh, defense here for the next 114. And Sam beat Ram, the first two, first time these two teams played, he scored five points in the last minute of the game to steal. They hit a big three, hit two big free throws to steal the victory for Rose Holman. So, you know, he, he, I do believe in this game he'll still have an opportunity to, to put an imprint on, on this game. Off the drive, Love with the shot, gets Take. it up and in. Yep. Jalen Love 
puts another basket in, 40 to 28. Duff with the drive, gets hammered, no way. Ram with it, he'll pull it outside, Hicks for three. Can't get it, rebound, tipped around, Wirtz has it. Oh, we had oh, it. Oh, he just <laughs> lost it and it looked like he was almost on the line there, close. Feed down inside for Franklin. Love has an opportunity, backdoor cut, and King gets the layup, and it's the leads cut to 10 with 33 seconds left to go here in the first half. Timeout's been call called by Rose Hallman. We'll take one. It's 40 to 30. If I crave something, I have to have it. Well, so what are you craving? Like, what do you crave? Attention, apparently. Look at him all See, sitting in the middle. I know, right? <laughs> it is really awkward. You just chose to yeah. sit there. <laughs> Sonic Grave Cheeseburger. If somebody's kind of on the fence of going into a recruiting office or just reaching out to a recruiter, I would absolutely encourage it, if anything, just for the information. We have a lot of enlistment bonuses out there right now. Oh, we're still about $20,000. If you're in college or you plan to be to college, this is a great choice for you because our organization, we look for students who want to go to college. We also have educational benefits where we pay up to 100% of tuition. Wherever life takes you. We're ready to go. Hicks will inbound the basketball. They'll get it up the floor and get it to Chaplin and Harden will set up the offense. Two seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Harden trying to back down on samples. Samples is going to have to be careful. He's going to pick one up here. Pretty easy one. Feed to Wirtz. Back outside to Hicks to Harden, and they're going to call an offensive foul, foul on Chaplin running through, and no shots will be taken on this one, but yeah. defensive substitutions will come in for Rose Holman as Kabrick and and Sambit Ram into the ball game, along with Vuk Zurich. Franklin has the ability to close this half on a 6 or 7 0 run. That is pivotal. The CF Rose can get a stop here. Ram guarding Love. Love turns the corner, feed in the corner, open look, got the three pointer up, can't get it. Rebound to Zurich. He'll take the long one. It's not going to be any good, but Rose Holman leads by 10 at halftime over Franklin in what is a crucial ball game for the Fighting Engineers to see who will play at home in the HCAC tournament this weekend. Again, we'll be back for more in a halftime show here on Indiana Sports Network. Wherever life takes you, whatever stage, anything that you need, no matter the season, getting there together. We are ready when you are. Crane cares. It's tax time. You need a professional with decades of experience. You need Goshen H&R Block. Nothing is more important than getting your taxes done quickly and correctly, up close and personal, by people you know and trust. This year, get answers to all your questions and your taxes done right by Goshen H&R Block. This is Sue Goshen from your locally owned H&R Block in Brazil. Walk in, make an appointment, or drop off your documents, and we'll tackle your taxes while you're away. For the things you treasure and the people you love. Brian Sponsler and Ben Rice for Auto, Home, and Life. You are watching HCAC Men's Basketball at Rose Hallman on the Indiana Sports Network. This game is presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. It's time for the Halftime Report on the Indiana Sports Network. Welcome back to Holbert Arena on the campus of Rose Holman Institute of Technology. And again, at 40 to 30 is our score. And Rose Holman came out with a lot of enthusiasm as they started different guys, guys that didn't traditionally start the year. And it really paid off with how hard they played because the guys coming off the bench have played even harder than the guys that started. They really did. And, and you know, you would imagine that uh, Coach Lloyd would stay with this until they lose. I mean, they, you know. Do you, do you break what you uh, is, what has been successful to you, even though it's not what you've done all, all season? You know, so 
the results are the results, and you know you you want to be playing good basketball. You'll be winning games, and so um, just the effort you could see it up and down the lineup. Uh, the way this game has started, as you mentioned, Rose Holman started a little slow offensively, but defensively they, they were locked in. Uh, gave them some time for their offense to catch up and get going, and that it really did. 40 points in the first half. That's a lot for Rose Holman. Now, I'm going to say something. We we yeah. noticed the crowd, and right. there were a bunch of people lined up, yeah. and now we know the reason. Yeah. Give away a little food. They give away you, food. It's, yeah. It's, it's, hey, I'd line up, too, if I was a student. I'd come and line up and get a little free dinner. <laughs> and, uh, you know, college students always like free food, you know, especially when it's good. You know, so uh, kudos to uh, whoever, uh, whatever organization footed the bill. I don't know if it was the athletic department or one of the departments on campus, somebody footed the bill to feed all these uh, men and women and uh, good on them because the students came and I guarantee you they are making a massive impact on the way the engineers are playing. And it is Chick-fil-A, so yeah. we can talk about that one because that's one of the sponsors that Rose Holman has here for their athletic department yeah. and different things that way. I want to thank those folks as well. Uh, 40 to 30 is our score, and when we look at statistically, Rose Holman leads in almost every category. They really do. When you look at rebounding up uh, plus nine uh, offensive boards, uh, they've been uh, 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 really dominant. Uh, you're, you're looking at the, the uh, turnover numbers, which is something I kind of lamented in, lamented about for Rose Holman, uh, you know, throughout the season. Only three first half turnovers. You 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 know you absolutely love that. Um, the points in the paint, you always dominate that. Points in transition, that's uh, one that is, is doesn't always happen for Rose Holman. 10 points in transition today um, off of uh, six turnovers. Part, part of that off of the six turnovers by Franklin. Six turnovers is not horrible for a half, but boy, uh, even when Franklin has made a basket, there are a couple of times where they got beat down the court, and I, I know Coach will talk about that during the halftime break. Well, the total rebounds is what I look at as well. 21 to 12. Yeah. And that's, that's a bunch, and offensively, Rose Holman with the nine offensive rebounds to uh, Franklin's four and with those uh, we had four lead changes in the ball game it went back and forth there early on uh, finally it was like 10 to 9 and all and Rose Holman put just a little bit out and a little bit more and, and got it up to about 14 uh, and that's been the largest lead for Rose Holman one point has been the largest lead for Franklin in this one and if you're looking individually scoring 11 points for Krause uh, and again uh, that's not below his average that's that's right there and Krause averaging 14 and a half almost 15 points a game uh, so 11 points he's he's their scorer and he's he done a nice job for him yep. for Rose Holman guys off the bench it's Terry Hicks he's really done a number he has 12 points in the first half six for Wirtz uh, and if if you look at the other one Vuk uh, Jurek came off the bench or and actually started I'm sorry started the ball game he had six points right. in the first half and those were intensity points when I say that rebound putbacks mm -hmm. uh, the, you know the big fellow on the inside has been doing a number that way the other score is Wirtz so if you take Zurich and Wirtz together that's 12 points in the same that's spot right. that's pretty good production for your inside yeah. player and you want guys uh, you know you, you one guy starts you have one guy coming off the bench and you can kind of interchange those two. They, they play the, the five spot minutes in, the, in the, the majority of the time. Uh, and when you can get that kind of production out of those two, like you mentioned, um, uh, six points and then also the rebounds that go along with that um, really helps this team, no matter who you have on the floor, to keep that momentum going. And so, you know, you look at, I keep alluding to the first time these two teams played, you talked about the, uh, uh, um, the rebounding road coming to plus nine. In the previous game, Rose Holman was plus 21 at the end of the contest, rebounding the basketball, didn't shoot the, the three worth a darn, kind of like tonight, can't hit a three to save their life hardly. But when you can rebound like that, get offensive rebounds, getting stick back, getting points in transition, that can help to mask not be able to hit from the outside, which in today's basketball, you got to be able to hit three-point shots, typically. Oh, yes, definitely. And for Rose Holman, just putting the ball inside, get after it, and that's where yeah. they've kind of uh, been the leader in this ball game. Yeah. It's 40-30. to 30. We're at halftime. Rose Holman leading Franklin. We'll return for more here on Indiana Sports Network.
Treatment for those with mental illnesses and addiction issues has evolved over the years. In the late 1960s, Indiana's mental health system began to take shape. From 1971 to 2021, Hamilton Center has touched the lives of thousands of people. In central and west central Indiana, we are committed to the latest therapies to improve the quality of life for those with mental illnesses. Treatment works. Recovery is possible. And thank you, Indiana. At Indiana Land and Lifestyle, we go to great depths to list and sell your property. <laughs> if your agent isn't willing to go to these depths, six acres with bass, to list and sell your property, don't you think that's a little fishy? And there's fish in there. Oh! And snapping turtles! For all your Indiana land needs, check us out at indianalandandlifestyle.com. Oh, that's gross. This program is a copyrighted production of Indiana Sports Network and cannot be shown, reproduced, or redistributed in any way or in any form without prior written permission from Indiana Sports Network. If somebody's kind of on the fence of going into a recruiting office or just reaching out to a recruiter, I would absolutely encourage it, if anything, just for the information. We have a lot of enlistment bonuses out there right now, upwards to about $20,000. If you're in college or you plan to be to college, this is a great choice for you because our organization, we look for students who want to go to college. We also have educational benefits where we pay up to 100% of tuition. Melty cheese, grilled onions, and steak on this footlong filly are so flavorful. Man, do I love a good steak out. Steak out, nice. You would not believe what they are doing in there. Making cheese steaks? What are you, one of them? It's your last chance to try a classic or spicy footlong filly. Hurry in today. You are watching HCAC Men's Basketball at Rose Hallman on the Indiana Sports Network. You're watching College Sports on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. Well, it was a great start for the first half for Rose Hallman. About the last minute and a half, kind of a let up. Um, if we're going to see Rose Holman win the ball game, what are they going to have to do here in the second half? Oh, they're going to have to continue to play defense. I mean, if you hold um, Franklin to another 30 points um, in the second half, that bodes very well. Uh, we'll take almost an epic collapse for Rose. They're not score 21 points in the second half. The, the way they're playing intensity. And also Matt Krause, do not let him get like 10 field goal attempts in the second half. Rose is doing a good job paying attention to him fighting through screens, making it tough. He's got, I think he said 10 or 11 points. Has not missed a shot yet, by the way. It's four for four from the field, but only four for four from the field. So good news, bad news. He hasn't missed a shot, but only taken four field goal attempts. Uh, you know, you would think that he would have 10, 11, 12 field goal attempts uh, at the end of this game. He might have to start forcing things at some point. You, you know, you would, you would think they would play through him a little bit more. Maybe a couple of possessions of where they went to King. You go to Prouse, your senior, instead on a big game like, like this. But if he, at the end of this game, has 15, 16, 17, 18 field goal attempts, to me, that, that, that's going to make me think and feel a little bit nervous because uh, he's not going to take that many unless he's draining some shots. And we've got to stay with Matt Krause. Been a, a thorn in our side for four, four years. Just a great inside outside player with the, the, the roster that he has this year. He doesn't have, you know, the Gutierrez and the Morris and, and some other guys like that that he's had years past. More of the load on his shoulders. Has some younger guys that he's playing with. 
you know, so he, he's trying to lead this team, but they really have to play through him, um, and Rose Holman uh, is going to have to keep eyes on him all game long. Well, it's that enthusiasm for Rose Holman. They lead by 10, and we'll ta take a short break. We'll be right back with the start of the second half. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. Wherever life takes you, whatever stage, anything that you need, no matter the season, getting there together. We are ready when you are. Crane cares. It's tax time. You need a professional with decades of experience. You need Goshen H&R Block. Nothing is more important than getting your taxes done quickly and correctly, up close and personal, by people you know and trust. This year, get answers to all your questions and your taxes done right by Goshen H&R Block. This is Sue Goshen from your locally owned H&R Block in Brazil. Walk in, make an appointment, or drop off your documents, and we'll tackle your taxes while you're away. You are watching HCAC Men's Basketball at Rose Hallman on the Indiana Sports Network. 40 to 30, uh, finishing touches on the warm-ups here to start the second half. And again, uh, just an outstanding job by Rose Hallman as far as effort. They have the enthusiasm up. When they play like this, they're going to be a really hard out. It doesn't matter whether it's today or Sunday or next week. Yeah. They're going to be. They're going to have a chance to win ball games uh, through the tournament. They really are, and you mentioned that effort, the intensity, and, and you know the last couple of games has really been there on a consistent level, and that's what uh, Coach Lloyd is asking for out of his team to play with that edge, to play with that in intensity, and boy, when you have a big crowd like this, it really helps when you have your students, friends, and your family here in attendance. It, it really helps, and um, you know when there's so much on the line that you have to, to, to play for, trying to host the game on Sunday men and women, scoreboard watching. Uh, we talked about what you said, was it, what was the Beavers thing again? What, 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 what was it? Bite them? Bite them Beavers? <laughs> the Beavers did just that. The women, the Bluffton uh, women team did beat Defiance by 19, 78-59. So that's one of the pieces that we needed uh, for Rose women to be able to host the game. Rose women is taking care of their a part of it at halftime. The women are up 38 to 18. Woo. Uh, as they are really putting the hammer on Franklin, got to continue that um, at halftime. Also in the men's game, Anderson at Manchester. Another game we need Anderson to win, and we're kind of scoreboard watching there. Anderson up 12 at Manchester, which is a really, really tough place to play. They're up 12, 48 to 36, shooting 65 percent in the first half. And then also Transylvania men, another game that we're kind of watching as well. Transylvania men up um, at home against Earlham, 36 to 31 at halftime. So some of the scores we're kind of watching as the things kind of kind of fall in place. Rose Holman trying to host two games here at the Hope Arena on Sunday. A lot has to happen. So those are some of the scores that we're watching as as uh, we'll try to w let the chips fall where they may. But it all has to start with Rose Holman wins. Samples with the basketball being hawked by Harden in the backcourt for Franklin. Again, Franklin down with the basketball. They trail by 10. Samples trying to get the ball outside and does to Hodges. Samples with That's the drive, the kick out, open look for the three, and I call a timeout if I'm down right is now. Matt Krause. I would call a timeout after that right there. I, if you're Harden, you can't go for the up fake. You have to stay down and not let your defender go by you, draw the help, and then you have the corner three. That's exactly what Franklin wants to do. Leads cut to seven. Zurich down on the low post. He's got a chance. Go to the reverse. Pump. Puts it up and in. Luke is pumped up on this, and he, he has is. eight points. If you're not going to bring the double, you're going to give him plenty of time. Don't have to worry about uh, uh, too much time in the paint because he went in there. Ball's loose on the floor. the floor. Everybody after it and picked up. Krause thought about it, but thought it. better. He should have taken that. He was in rhythm. He was ready. Crow in the corner. Now Crow outside. Travel. Look mm -hmm. for the three. 
nothing. And again, they're in Krause's face. Three-point shot up, no good, and rebound to Bowman. Krause has been on the deck several times here today. I'm telling you, man, he's taking some punishment here tonight. Hard playing teams. Both yeah. of these guys really want to play and win this ball game for Rose Holm, and it determines the real opportunity to host a tournament game here at Holbert Arena. Bowman, come on, be Outside ready. Outside look, Bowman for yes, three, got it. Yes, sir. Willie Bowman. You could tell uh, when he, uh, uh, Luke turned and faced, he backed down, and Bowman did a great job feeling. Nice drive on the inside by Trey Flapp. The freshman from Indianapolis scores. Cuts the lead back to 10. And that's what Rose Hummel was doing in the first half, bidding Franklin down the court. Uh, Franklin that time giving Rose a little bit of their own medicine, scoring the first five uh, seconds of the shot clock. Bowman with a basketball outside to Kabrick to Harden. Looking on the inside, you can see a hold being taken on the, out, or the inside that time as Hicks was being guarded. Kabrick drive, puts the shot up, and Ooh. doesn't get it in yeah. and out. Rebound comes out to Franklin. That one had to go up. Samples to Flat. Flat takes the shot, doesn't go anywhere. Rebound, rebound and comes away with it on the outside. Open look for H Hudgens. Can't get it, and rebound comes out to Harden. Bradley pushing it up, has a man open. Kabrick feeds down inside to Hicks. Hicks being guarded on the inside and puts that shot up and in. Thought we might see a cutter uh, as Hicks had the ball in that low post position, but he ended up being able to use his defender and use his size, get two more big points. Tall point, Office Rose foul. Holman lead. In the corners, Hodges. Got Hodges, the man. back outside the no flat. Jerry. He'll drive, kick to the open man, got the shot up, and, and they're gonna three, call the three, foul three. on the three-point shot. <sighs> and going to the line will be number 15, that's Carter Crow, the junior from Greenwood. I'm gonna give you um, something. I, I, I guarantee you that you did not know this, Herb, about the game of basketball. <laughs> three points is more than two points. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not coming off of my three-point shooter to provide help for a layup. I mean, this is Franklin is down 12 right now, now 11. I, I don't overhelp and leave three-point shooters in the corner today. This Franklin team can claw back in this game very quickly in a couple of possessions with that three-point shot. This time could be free, three free throws instead of a three-point shot. Still the same philosophy. Kabrick too far away from this man. Had to scramble to close out. Took a wrong angle, bam, three free throws. So I'm, I'm giving up the, the layup or contested five, seven footer. I'm not giving up open three point shot. Nine point lead for Rose Holman, 6.43 left to go in the second half. Chaplin, they give it back outside and due to Jackson. Zachary Jackson with the drive, the stolen pass. away, stolen right back. Wow. Jackson puts the layup up and in. Boy. Zachary Jackson with the steal and basket. Ooh. Sample with the drive. He'll bring it up hard and see if Franklin can set the offense. High screen outside. Krause was trying to set one. They couldn't get it done. Now the screen on the outside. Kick back out. Good this close. time closed out by Hicks. In the corner again is Crow. Got again. another one. Again, I'm not leaving the corner three-point shooter to help on a contested layup. I'm not doing that. Eight-point lead for Rose Holman. Kabrick with the drive in the lane, feeds down to Zurich. Vuk, and he'll be fouled in the inside. They'll say it's out of bounds. Boy, this, uh, I, I, this is a good timeout right here for Rose Holman, immediate timeout. And a timeout called, 15.48 left to go in the second half. Rose Holman leads by eight on Indiana Sports Network. The city of Brazil was founded in 1866. By 1876, there were two schools, seven dry goods stores, two hardware stores, four churches, and five drug stores. One of those drug stores is still there today, Lynn's Pharmacy. Lynn's Pharmacy has grown from a small neighborhood drug store to a modern pharmacy, offering prescriptions and medical equipment with old-fashioned values and unparalleled service. You can even stay Step back in time and visit Lynn's Soda Parlor here at Lynn's Pharmacy, downtown Brazil. Home. It can be the family farm, a small town, or a busy city. But wherever you call home, we are where you are.
ready to serve you and your family with compassionate health care of the highest quality. Serving the Wabash Valley since 1892, Union Health, healthier together. You're watching College Sports on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. And folks, we want to thank Crane Credit Union, Goshen H&R Block, the Hamilton Center, Indiana Army National Guard, Lynn's Pharmacy, Mossy Oak Properties, Sponsor Insurance, Sonic Drive-In, Union Health, and York Automotive, all proud sponsors of Rose Hallman Athletics here on Indiana Sports Network. An eight-point Rose Hallman lead. The engineers with the basketball, they'll give it up. In the corner is Chaplin. He'll pull it out to Kabrick, and they'll run it around the horn. With the drive, shots up, doesn't get it, and the rebound pulled out by Franklin. Really nice job by Carter Crow grabbing the rebound. Again, shots up, no good. Rebound, and no block out that time by the big guy in Wirtz. Feed down the lane, and Crow has been the guy. He missed the bunny. Wow. Big miss right there for Franklin as they had a chance uh, to close this lead down to six. Chaplin for 10-footer, got it. Free throw line is going to be money for uh, Matt. And look at uh, look at this defense. Look at the defense uh, on ball. I'll tell you what, good opportunity for Zachary Jackson. He's yes. causing all pro kinds of problems from yes. a defensive side. Down the lane, looking for the cutter, open in the corners, there. another three-point shot, and picked up Crow, lost the basketball. Rose Holman will gain possession. And that was just the, uh, uh, you know, a shot by by uh, Hudgens that went up the side of the backboard. He won't be deterred, he'll shoot the next shot. But guess what, Herb? He was wide open. He was. These are just dangerous looks that, you know, you sink in the paint, you keep doing that, and then they're going to they're gonna do this all game long. They're going to find the three-point shooters in the corner. That's already probably four or five looks they've had from the corner in the second half. It was really kind of a mismatch defensively as Wirtz yes. had drawn him off of a couple screens. Farnsworth for three. Ah. He doesn't have it. Rebound, cool, tipped around, picked up. And who else but, but the big guy number 15 is Crow. Feed down inside. And another basket by Matt Krause. And he ran the floor. He had his hand up before he crossed the 10-second line. He wanted that ball going straight down the floor, and they got it. Big bucket there by Kraut. Good defense by Samples. A lot of contact on yeah. this one. These two guys have been going out like the it. whole time. Samples and Jackson. Come on, Duff. Duff off yeah. the board. And that's looked like the backyard shot that he wanted to hit. Yeah, and when Duff gets to that mid-range from that 15-foot area, that's the, at this point in his career where he's most comfortable um, as uh, Jackson still continues to howl Samples. This is a nice little matchup here, Bruin. I like this. And they're not liking each other. They're really going at it. 11 versus 11. <laughs> Again, Sample. He'll take the block. Blocked. A oh, big that block team. that time by Zachary Jackson. Now see and Rose Holman with possession of the basketball. Pay it off with a big bucket here on this end would be awesome. And you know, they're not jawing at each other, but you no. know something's going to be said here in the middle of what, what's, what's going on. Outside to Duff. Duff looked for the three, doesn't have it. Look out. Gets in the lane, kicks it back out. Farnsworth puts a shot oh, up yeah. and in. Isaac Farnsworth, a 12-point lead for Rose Harmon. That's a big uh, possession, the block by Jackson, and then here he comes. Boy, I'm telling you, it's very close to a 10-second violation of getting closer and closer as this game goes on. Jackson is hounding. Almost stolen away as they try to keep it from Krause. Open look and a shot's up, no good. Picked up by Chaplin, he out hustles him. He's in the drive, he'll put it inside, puts a shot up, a lot of contact and no call on that one. <laughs> Flat with a basketball, he pushed it up to Krause and he, that looked like a potential travel. Flat, puts it up and in, cuts the lead to nine. And he had something to say to the, the uh, Rose Holman students there, down there on the uh, uh, sideline. Turn out to turn and said a little something, something. I like this the way this game is uh, developing with the intensity. With the drive, Duff puts it, it up was. and in, and they're going to oh. call the offensive foul on Wirtz. Moving the screen, yep. Yeah. Okay. Light and of Rusty Lloyd's letting the him know about the previous call down yeah. the lane. He goes, he got hit down the lane. Hudges, I think it was Hudgens, ass out, needs a little breather. Also going out as samples, coming in, love and keen. 
Love is going to be matched up on Harden. They're going to, so this ought to be an interesting way to look at it too. And Harden going to get up into the grill. And now they're going to give it up to Kraus. So yeah, Kraus like will set the offense. King looking to drive on Wirtz. Uh, pulls up. Uh, got the open look. He'll bury that yeah, one. That's a, the boy, that's a tough matchup for Trey. Uh, you have to give him room because he knows he can get driven, but then he can step back and hit that little mid-range. Harden beats him down the floor, keeps going, feeds. Open is Farnsworth for two. Boy, these teams just put straight and blows here in the second half. On the outside is Love. King with a basketball. Almost stolen away. Another, they're really going after that bounce pass that you think they're going to give up, and they're really going at it. Screen on the outside. King for looks for three. Loose ball underneath. They'll pull it out. Again, another Drop. block shot on the outside. Open look. Farnsworth is asking for it in a the corner. They didn't feed him. Duff with the basketball. They'll set the offense. Harden, he'll take it. No, he'll back it back outside. They're doing a great job on Max Chaplin, shadowing him, not letting him get looked. Duff, Chaplin, using the screen. He'll drive. He'll shoot. He scores. Max Chaplin says, oh, yeah, I'll take you to the glass. Here it comes. And a and turnover looking. at the other end. He wasn't looking. And you can hear the crowd going crazy. Timeout's been called, and we'll take one as well. It's 59-48. Rose Holman with the lead. Shopping for a new car? Don't settle. Welcome to your deal, your way, with York VIP. New vehicles in production arriving daily. Select your model, trim, and color. Reserve it. Find the car you want without the hassle. Easy and fast. Get VIP access at yorkchevy.com slash VIP. Start online today, and we'll show you why. We're not number one. You are. We're not number one. You are. You're number one at York. Introducing Sonic's new Car Hop Classic with double the beef, double the cheese, and now double the choices. Try quarter pound double cheeseburger or a slinger with tots for just $2.99. Get them now, ending soon. You're watching College Sports on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. And welcome back to Hulbert Arena. It's 59 48. And you can see several of the ball players in, as we're talking uh, off the air. There's a couple guys that have come into the ball game and really sparked Rose Holman from an offensive standpoint. And then defensively, you've mm -hmm. seen a real spark. Block shots, a right. couple of them. Big ones right down the stretch here. They got up, got a tip on that ball, and Rose Holman ended up with it. You know, when you look at the way the season is gone, you know, Rose Holman, uh, not not exactly toward the top of the conference in blocks, eighth in blocks per game. But, man, uh, you had Jackson, and then you had, I believe, was, was it Duff with that second block? Um, you know, three blocks on the game for the engineers, really starting the transition opportunity to go in the other way. So, you, you know, you got to keep this up. And as physical as this game has been, only three fouls called in the second half for the ref letting them play. Duff mid -range. gets another mid-range, sticks that thing in at 61-48. He loves that elbow jumper, Herb. Loose ball, almost <laughs> lost that one, was Jalen Love. Love will work on Harden. Love drawing to the basket. Almost yes, over, it is. Duff with the basketball. All right. One on one. He'll take it to the basket, puts the shot up. Oh, Got yeah. It. Dylan Duff with two, and at 63-48. Rose Holman with the lead. Had King back uh, backpedaling and then went straight at him, got a little contact and played through it, got a bucket. King looks for the step back. No, he takes it a little bit different. Crow in the corner, off the drive, open look for King for three, he puts the shot up, can't get it. Good block out, everybody's yeah. got it. Oh! Off the ball. Inside oh, with a oh loose my. ball is Matt Kraus. You sure don't want to give him the basketball. He hasn't missed a shot. No, you don't want to let him have looks and boy. Great effort on the block out, and he thought he had the rebound. The next thing you know, Krauss has got it. Duff looked for the three. Good pump fake drives. Puts it up and in, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line. They got King once again. I do believe that's the second time King has been just there trying to avoid a foul by not really going after it. 
getting called for the foul. Just sometimes, sometimes he's just unlucky. And that's the second time he's been unlucky today, getting uh, a foul called on him and building up the aggressive move. He is aggressive by nature when you look at uh, Dylan Duff, but the aggressive move has really helped uh, the engineers today. And he cans the old-fashioned three-point play. It's a 16-point yeah. lead for Rose Holman. 9.30 left to go in the second half. Duff, I believe, has six straight points or, or for the engineer or something like that. King with the crossover, takes the drive, puts it up, can't Got get it, and a rebound comes out to Hicks. Terry Hicks with a basketball three on two break. He'll go up all the way in. And he's <laughs> fouled and a good follow. Rose Holman would have had the uh, the putback potential right. off of that one, but going to line will be Terry Hicks. Terry Hicks, the junior uh, from uh, you know uh, from right here in Indiana, just really has played uh, a really good game. But once again, can't get the minutes out of him that we would love to have. 14 points leads the team. Uh, in these limited minutes, only played 20 minutes today. So I was going to say, I won't say only. We've only played almost 31. Uh, but you know, Hicks is a guy we'd love to have out there on the floor all the time. Uh, but just giving max effort tonight on both ends of the floor. Th third foul on Crow. So Crow picks up his third. Still a 16-point lead for Rose Holman. That's a big foul. Ah. Hicks doesn't get either one. Ball's tipped around and picked up this time, and a good job by Logan Hudgens. Samples with a basketball, working off the screen, looking for the cross, doesn't get it, and a good solid switch by Rose Holman. Absolutely. They had him everywhere. On the inside, they're going to call Hicks on the push in the back, yeah. and uh, as Higgins was, or Wiggins, excuse me, was trying to get posi position Absolutely. in the low post, and he did. He put his forearm right in his back. Third team foul, first team first foul for Terry Hicks. Nice job on the screen. They got an open look, and yeah. burying it outside was Carter Crow. He did a great job. A little fade uh, on the off of that screen. Step out. Uh, got a big shot right there for the Grizzlies. They need that. They need the bucket right there. Rose Hallman by 14, looking, and Chaplin takes the shot, doesn't get it. Rebound comes out to Hudgens. Samples with a basketball, trying to work on Harden. Gets the open look, kick out. Now it's Samples for three. Puts the shot up, can't get it. Rebound to Zurich. Sixty six fifty two Rose Hallman with the basketball in the lead Harden Gives it up to Duff Duff for three puts a shot up short rebound Fought for picked up by Chaplin. He pulls it back out. No Duff with it. He'll put it up He's gonna go to the line and shoot two. Ben, I, I'm telling you what Boog Juris did a great job keeping that ball alive found Chaplin's hand nice pass to, to Duff Gets to the free throw free throw line uh, for two more free throws. 8-0-1 left to go in the ball game. Rows plus 10 on the glass. Duff puts the first one up, misses it. Substitutions in back into the ball game is Matt Kraus and number 11 Zachary Jackson, the junior from Franklin, Tennessee who's been the defensive stalwart for yeah. Rose Holm, and he's really caused a lot of pressure mm -hmm. in the backcourt against the Franklin guards. Duff takes that second shot, doesn't oh, get it either, boy. so a couple missed free throws, yeah. about four in a row for Rose Holman. Right. They lead by 14, it could be well up into the 18 to 20 point mark if they can hit free throws. Kraus with the drive, no kick back outside to Crow. Crow was in the corner, now sets up for the three, puts a shot up, doesn't get it, rebound to Chaplin. He goes high for the rebound. Max, pump, drive, shoots, doesn't get it, and he's fouled. Now, these are two free throws that won't be missed. Third foul on uh, Hudgens, timeout called, will take one as well, Rose Holman by 14. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, 
cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is how we sonic. If I crave something, I have to have it. Well, so what are you craving? Like, what do you crave? Attention, apparently. Look at him all See, sitting in the middle. I know, right? <laughs> it is really awkward. You just chose to yeah. sit there. <laughs> Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. This game is presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. 66-52. Rose Holman with the lead. And again, going to the line with more free throw opportunities. This time it'll be Max Chaplin. And uh, I talked about it before the break. These are two free throws that, that will be made. And, you know, you can send Max to the line and, and, and uh, go ahead and put the two on the board. Um, as uh, Max Chaplin, the exceptional free throw shooter, leads the conference in free throw shooting at 89.5%. When we're looking at this one again, 18 points for Kraus. He's yeah. the leading scorer by a long ways for Franklin. And you talked at halftime saying if you could hold him down, yeah. and that would be the key for Rose Holman. They still, Krause is scoring, and Rose Holman's been kind of answering it, and oh, he's man. missed the first one of yeah. those two attempts. 14 each for Duff and Hicks, both of them coming off the bench uh, to score those, and we'll kind of see what's going on. Krause, seven for eight in the field. Got to shut his water off. He got the second one at 67-52, a 15-point lead. And again, defensive pressure in the backcourt. Zachary Jackson applying the pressure and does so on Cody Samples. And now they're just now starting their offense at 21 seconds. Outside is Kraus. 18 it, points on the night for him already. It's right there with him. They're going to feed inside. Wiggins with the jump hook, there doesn't get it to go, and a rebound comes out to Kabrick. Kabrick pushing the ball up. Good pass. Deep pass inside Good the block. Board. He doesn't get it, but Rose Holman will keep possession of the basketball. He thought he had to go up and under on the other side of the basket, but if he would have gone with his left hand off the catch, he had a clear pass. Kraus was there for the block on the opposite side of the basket. Good play by Matt Kraus. Looking inside, they'll give it up. Chaplin in the corner, and he'll pull it out and set up the offense. 20 shot seconds on that shot clock. Didn't move. Chaplin lost time. the basket, just lost it. Yeah. Feed down inside with the drive. Shots up, no good, oh, and boy. good contest that time. Rose Holman with a break. Opportunity open for Chaplin in the, th in the corner. Can't get it. Rebound, tipped around and picked up. Again, Zachary Jackson with his hands on the basketball yeah. multiple occasions. Kabrick to Jackson. Back outside to Chaplin. Chaplin will take the deep three, got it. <laughs> Max Chaplin for three, and it's 70-52, an 18-point lead for Rose Hallman. Look at Jackson. My goodness, what a game. And Zachary Jackson might be the most valuable for the things he's done. Outside shot, open for Wiggins, can't get it, rebound to Hicks. Terry hits uh, now rebound number nine, working on the double-double. One rebound away from that, a foul out high on sample. Only team foul number six with a big break. And that's, that's almost like a complete flip because Jackson has just been all over Samples back and forth, yep. and Samples collects the foul. Jackson hasn't collected any here in the second half. Yep. But I, I like Samples providing that pressure. If you have somebody providing pressure on you, give it right back to them. It's kind of like uh, pressing a team that likes to press, give them a little bit of taste of their own medicine, make them feel uncomfortable as well. Sixth team foul for Franklin. The next one, Rose Hallman will go to the line. Harden off the screen to Kabrick back outside. Bowman, who checked into the ball game, is in. Uses Hicks screen. He'll step out for the opportunity. Hicks drives, spins, puts a shot up, can't get it. Rebound comes out Good to Krause. He lost it. Loose ball. Hicks with the basketball. He has it on the floor. Oh. Feeds. Loose ball again. Everybody's out, but they're going to call the foul. Oh, It'll go against yeah. Harden. Yeah, they end up getting that foul. And you know, on the other, you know, before that lead all that, Kraus was falling out of bounds, had to throw the ball back inbounds, and that's how the whole scrum started. Uh, but this is a fourth team foul on Rose Holman, so it'll be an out of bound situation as uh, both teams, uh, they're, they're really playing hard. You like the intensity of the game. Both teams are really, really battling hard tonight. 
538 left to go in the ball game. They're going to wipe the sweat up as people yeah, were on the floor on this and don't want anybody to get hurt. Farnsworth, Isaac checks into the ball game for Rose Holman, and Hicks will step out. Hicks has provided the huge spark yes. that Rose Holman needed in the ball game. Great amount of points off the bench, and more importantly, just his effort defensively. He's, he's really caused problems for Franklin. Scoring update uh, at Manchester. Uh, the Ravens of Anderson up nine, 67 to 58. Just a shade under eight minutes ago there. Transylvania, nine minutes to go, up four. Uh, playing against Erlem. And then in the women's game, Rose Holman women at the end of the third quarter up 20, 54 to 34 at Franklin. King, they'll hand it to Crow. Crow takes the shot. He had a man in his face. And Ooh, what a rebound. Voop comes after that one. Vuk, Look lead pass to Cabrick. Cabrick with the drive, kick out in the corner. Oh. Farnsworth, he thought about shooting a three, he pulls it up. Nice feed inside to Zurich. He puts it up and in, and he's fouled. A 20-point lead for Rose Holman, and Vuk Zurich will go to the line to try to add it and put 21 on the board. Man, I'm, I'm telling you what, I hope the crowd that we have here tonight is here on Sunday afternoon. What an electric place this, this place would be. I know people got things to do. You got studies. Finals week coming up next week. But, oh, can we get a few? You come to Sunday. Oh boy, what an atmosphere here tonight! Puts that one up, and Vuk gets the three-point play, and he is pumped. And it's a 21-point lead for Rose Holman as we approach five minutes left to go in the ball game. And might I add, Vuk with a great haircut tonight. I like the <laughs> fact that he came for the occasion, looking ready to play. Crow pulls up, doesn't get it. Zurich with the rebound, and he'll hand it to Harden. And there's numbers to the edge. Cabra for three. It's oh, 76 52, and they're dancing in the stands with the drive. Sample, kick it out. Shots up. No good. Rebound comes out. And rebound. I'm telling you, Bowman had it. And a jump ball's been called. Possession arrow gives the ball to Rose Holman. Uh, this, Herb, is the best we've seen this team look all season. They look fantastic. Uh, the way they're playing this, this, this tonight, uh, man, I, I just, I really hope things work out to where we get a home game in the quarterfinal. This team deserves it uh, the way they're playing right now. And it's not one or two. It is no. like everybody after right. everything. Here comes Harden with the drive. No, Kabrick open for three. He'll put another one up. Doesn't get it. Rebound to Bowman. Bowman. He's got it on the inside, and they're going to call a foul. And really? Krause is down under the basket. Mm. He got hit pretty hard. Just a, a loose scrum on that one. And yeah. He's sitting on his rear end there going, man, what do you have to do to get a rebound around here? Well, Willie Bowman went up high for that rebound as he uh, has provided a – I mean, there's nobody for the engineers that you could point to to say, man, you know, he came in, but he really didn't give us anything. Everybody up and down the roster has really provided a spark, and here comes Miles McGowan, who started the game – um, had played limited minutes in the first half, coming back out here to get it. He started the game defensively, playing good defense on the first game. He played really good defense on Matt Crow, so he, you know he, he was comfortable enough to be out there with him again today. And the first, uh, the front end of a one and one is missed by Bowman. Samples with a basketball up with the 10 second line. Kraus with it outside. We'll give it up again. Kraus trying to find an open look. King with the drive inside, he'll put it up, and they're going to call a blocking yeah. foul on Bowman. Too they're strong. going to give two shots on it. Just too strong. Look at Lynn King, 6'4 freshman uh, with the South Bend Adams. This young man is a load. I'm talking about, here's one thing that I say, and I say this affectionately when I'm uh, talking about uh, football. Uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm not a Colts fan, but I'm a Colts root. I'm a 49er fan. But I, say, I, wanted, I always wanted the Colts to have one of those I call him a big booty SEC running back. <laughs> I say this affectionately, Lynn King, uh, your family's watching. Please don't get mad at me. I say this out of love, out of affection. He's Lynn King is that type of guy. He's a thick dude. He has strength, athleticism. Man, it's going to be fun to watch this young man play over the next three years. I hope he continues to stay healthy and stay with it, keep working on his game because he, he's, he's got something to work with. Timeouts called, 4.04 left to go in the ballgame. We'll return for more on Indiana Sports Network.
Sonic's 299 Car Hop Classic, a juicy quarter pound double cheeseburger or a flavorful signature slinger with golden brown crispy tots. A deal so nice, you should order it twice because it's only 299. Hurry in for a Car Hop Classic ending soon. It could be anyone. The star student, the all-state athlete. I never thought it could happen to me that I could lose everything. I found help, I found hope, I found recovery. I regained something lost. This game is presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. Seventy-six fifty-three, four oh four left to go in the ball game. Rose Holman with the lead, and you can see just and you, you talked about it earlier, every player that Every player that Coach Rusty Lloyd has put into the ball game has played with an exceptional amount of energy. And when they do that, this team yeah. looks drastically different than what they did even a month ago. Right. 13 and guys have touched the, the floor tonight. 10 of them have scored. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, just, just, you know, the way you see this, the way this game is gone, 10 of them have played double-digit minutes. And so, um, man, it – these guys are just really playing their hearts out tonight. And, and you know, you this is what you wanted to see Rose Holman do. You wanted to come see them rise to the occasion um, and play well here tonight. That's exactly what they've done so far for the first 36 minutes. Farnsworth, Kabrick, and they'll break the pressure. Farnsworth will try to drive around Good Crow, mm -hmm. handles the basketball. Good pressure. Kabrick back down into McGowan. McGowan looks inside. Farnsworth, turn around, got it. Isaac Farnsworth for two. Farnsworth now with uh, nine points on the evening. He's got a feathery touch from that mid-range. It's like Duck. Crow, and they're going to call Kabrick on the foul. Said he went forward into yeah, him okay. as we go through. Folks, we want to thank our camera operators for today's game. In Noah Gastineau, Amy Metcalf, and Dakota Sponsler. And we'll take a break right now. It's 78-53 when we return on Indiana Sports Network. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. home. It can be the family farm, a small town, or a busy city. But wherever you call home, we are where you are. The healthcare professionals of Union Health since 1892, providing compassionate health care of the highest quality to generations of Wabash Valley families. Union Health, healthier together. You are watching HCAC Men's Basketball at Rose Hallman on the Indiana Sports Network. This game is presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. And the baseball team has shown up in the corner as uh, you'll hear them start cheering as well. And I just missed this one. They'll hit it one more time, uh, trying to get me messages here that I can read off of a couple things. The, unless the Manchester women blow a big lead, Defiance at Rose Holman will be the women on Sunday. So unless there's something drastically changed, it looks like the women will play in this one at 1 o'clock on Sunday. It's 78-53. Did they say against who? Did, did he say that? Manchester. Unless Manchester blows a big lead right now, it'll be Rose Holman playing at home in women's basketball. Men's are yet to be determined with what's going on, but right now, Rose Holman looks like they can play anywhere, anytime. McGowan with the rebound, they're gonna call the foul, they'll go to the other end. And again, another good job. Miles McGowan, the freshman from Indianapolis, has really done a nice job coming in playing this year, as has another couple freshmen. And they still have 
a nice big guy, and when I say this, of Kazuski, which yeah. it, when he comes into play at 6'8", Rose Holman has a really solid freshman class. You're seeing a lot of them get to play tonight. You, you really do, and, and uh, you know, one, one guy that uh, I don't think we've seen tonight as one of some free throw misses down the stretch. We'll talk about that, but Simon Blair, I don't think we've even seen Simon Blair tonight. Another foul or quickly as lead to more free throws for Franklin, but Simon Blair uh, hasn't been in the game tonight. He's one of those freshman bigs uh, that, that we've seen uh, fairly consistently uh, tonight as uh, Franklin waved the right flag. They're, they're bringing in five five subs. They're, they're bringing in... They're uh, clearing they're, the bench. They're clearing the bench. Matt Krause, the uh, night is over. Um, and Rose Lloyd, I believe, will do the same thing here. And the here they come. And Blair getting ready to come in the game. Simon Blair will check into the ball game. Yep. Here comes Nunn. Sam Nunn into the ball game for Rose Holman. And at the line will be Lynn King, uh, the freshman from South Bend. Again, watching him play, doesn't look like a freshman. He plays yep. much bigger and much stronger. He's strong, man. And when he gets his man body into him, Dude. we're going to see some big things out of him. Yeah. 78-54 is the score, 24-point lead, 314 left to go in the ball game. The big thing for Rose Hallman right now, and Coach Wesley Lloyd's going to call the timeout to make sure it happens, is they don't want to fade away in this ball game. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. At Lynn's Pharmacy, we're more than just your pharmacist. We're your neighbors. Our kids go to the same schools. We eat at the same restaurants. We sit next to you in church. When I listen to a symptom. When I fill a prescription. When I offer advice, I'm not just helping a customer. I'm helping my neighbor and a friend. My name is Lynn Hofstetter, and I'm the proud owner of Lynn's Pharmacy, a modern pharmacy with old-fashioned values and personal service, dedicated to keeping you, your family, and our community healthy since 1872. Here at Lynn's Pharmacy, downtown Brazil. It's time for the half. 78-54. Lynn King at the line to take his second shot. I'd like to get uh, Duff and Kaberg out of here out of the game as soon as possible. <laughs> Shots up and good. Substitution for... Franklin, they put, they cleared the bench. Yeah, they they want to make sure everybody gets a chance to play. David Aarons, the <laughs> junior from Sweetster, Indiana, is playing defense on the ball right there, and they'll give it up to Duff to Kabrick. We'll try to get you some of the other guys that are in on this one, trying to force a double team. Kabrick will get it over to Duff as they'll run clock down. Will Rose Holman just trying to get things taken care of. Duff with the runner, he gets that one buried. It's 80 to 55. Let's get a sub in here for Duff here. Here we go. Here we go. Outside. They'll get up to Tharp. Mason Tharp. Errant pass. Duff has an open man. Leads to Kabrick. Puts the shot up and in. Jackson Kabrick. It's 82-55. Bostic with the basketball for Franklin. To Bruce. Hunter Bruce gives it up to Tharp. Mason Tharp uh, stolen away. Go. Look out. To Duff, and Duff dunks the basketball, and the crowd goes crazy. Timeout, Substitution yeah. timeout yeah. as Rose Holman will empty and put the rest in. For Rose Holman, number 13 is Eddie Simon, Jr., a freshman from St. Louis, Missouri. Number 32 is Henry Kazuski. We met his parents early. He's a freshman from Naperville, Illinois. And as well as, I'm missing the other one, 35 is Josiah McGee, a sophomore from Loveland, Ohio. Craig McGee's little brother. Three-point shot up and no good this time. And Rose Holman with, nope, they lost the rebound out of bounds. I will say this. Yes. Tharp, uh -huh. Tharp. It, his grandfather was one of the good friends I had. He's a Cascade kid. His dad, his grandfather was uh, one of the coaches at Cascade and an athletic director I spent a lot of time with. Oh, really fantastic. good guy. Fantastic. Shots up and good this time by Ryan Bostic, a freshman from Indianapolis. 
went to Decatur Central. Oh, that was a smooth looking shot there, wasn't it? And it's gonna they're gonna call it out of bounds. 145 left to go in the ball game. Number 10, Ron Farrell, the sophomore from Sammamish with Sammamish, Washington. I think I said that right too. <laughs> Sammamish, I tried that one about, and that was one, and, and no, I have not been there. So Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> with the drive, loose ball, picked up. And out of bounds, it'll still be Franklin basketball. 84-57, Rose Holman with the lead, 137. I'm telling you, if this crowd comes out like this on Sunday, it will be a crazy place here. They're really right. enjoying themselves, cheering for this one. Aarons with a basketball. He's trying to drive. No, he'll pull it back out. Three-point shots up and no good. Rebound, fought for, out of bounds. They'll say it'll be Rose Hallman basketball. Next player to come in. Again, Josiah McGee yeah, back got, into the ball game. They move him six, in, move him back out. Six guys who tried to rotate for five spots. You know, here, the, the, <laughs> honestly, the, the last six at the end of the bench. Uh, you know, if, if Franklin would agree to play six on six, it'd be perfect, wouldn't it? It really would be. There's a three-point opportunity and doesn't get it. Everybody's trying to score here. Everybody wants in the ball game to try to get a score. One thirteen left to go. We're going to shoot free throws. And yeah, just uh, boy, what a just a fantastic game here uh, for Rose Holman as they uh, uh, just winning in dominant fashion here tonight. Playing from uh, from from tip to horn. And I will say this. This kind of crowd support hasn't happened in yeah. two years. Yeah, hasn't and, been able to. And yeah, haven't been able to, and and that's the big thing right now. Football team, as you said, baseball team just finished their practice tonight in here uh, to, to cheer on their team. And boy, it's just a, you see all the students in here that got fed a great food, and you just you just like what you see here tonight and feel. Simon Blair back into the ball game, the freshman from Wagoner, Oklahoma. Still trying to play defense, stolen away, none with the basketball, so two on one. He feeds it down inside, Ooh. lost the basketball. Good <laughs> attempt to, for Ron Farrell, who couldn't haul it in. That was uh, going to put it on a dime there, trying to feed, you know, for, uh, 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 thread the needle between two Franklin Grizzlies. That's, uh, Low percentage pass uh, at this point in the game with this unit. 84-57, a minute left to go as we're under that minute mark. Bruce, pull up, shot is no good and rebound comes out to Rose Holman. Just with it, the big guy the and he's gonna lead pass out yeah. there. Here comes Ron Farrell, he fed it inside, got Here the assist go. up in the end. Number 13 is Eddie Simon Jr., the freshman from St. Louis, and he scores a basket. Big long three, got it. Nice shot that time by David Aarons. He's a big little freshman uh, from uh, Sweetster, Indiana. Sweet, sweet sir, not sweet sir, sweet sir. <laughs> have you been there? Sweetster, I have not been to that one either. Okay. All right. And we're going to run it out here. Ten seconds, left, ten seconds <laughs> left to go on this one. Rose Holman's going to come away with a huge victory. Wow. 86 to 60. And they're asking wow. him to go in and dunk the ball. He won't do it. Rose Holman wins 86 to 60. And you'll see the team shake hands. And then we'll watch the team as they thank the crowd. I guarantee you they're going to thank him for this one. Oh, yeah. Because it was an interesting game in terms of how hard Rose Holman played this basketball game. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, boy, I tell you, the fans got treated tonight to a fantastic effort. And, and uh, what, a, what a game, what an atmosphere that we have here tonight at the Holman Arena. Uh, just so, so happy that fans were able to come out uh, and enjoy this fantastic basketball game. And here comes the team. They'll head towards the middle and thank the crowd. They thank the, the other side, you can see them. Then they'll turn around and thank this side. And I'm telling you, the crowd went crazy. The yeah. fans were up. The football team was out, as well as the rest of the student body. 
and they love the opportunity to play here when Colbert Arena goes crazy like this. It gets loud, and uh, they're proud of their fighting engineers. Man, I tell you, it's just fantastic. And, <laughs> just fantastic. <laughs> and they're asking all of them to come back on Sunday. Okay, so what we're being told is we will be here for the women's game on Sunday, and the men's game is still up in the air. We've got about we've got about 30 minutes before we post or figure out right. if the men are going to be playing at home. We're anticipating they are with yeah, the kind well. of win they had. That also adds to the power rankings if you defeat somebody. It, it, if it the does, women though. and the men. If the women and the men do this and make it through, yeah. then uh, then we're going to go at 1 and 3 o'clock on right. Sunday afternoon. Again, uh, check and come back to the website here at Rose Hallman and check and see. But it'll be 1 and 3 o'clock. And you can check the website here at Rose Hallman or on Indiana Sports Network. We'll have yeah. that for you. But we know we're going to be broadcasting on Sunday. It'll be uh, the first round of the HCAC tournament where the Rose Hallman women will play at 1 o'clock. And that's a fantastic uh, opportunity for the women to get a home game um, as uh, they, you know, right now on the three, the three line. Um, and so we'll see what happens tonight. There's obviously, they're still up. Still up 13 at the end of the, of, the, of the fourth quarter, and so a big effort there at Franklin uh, for the Rose home and win and getting a, a win there. Uh, hopefully hold on, holding on to that number three seed, and we'll see what happens and who they face on, on Sunday afternoon, hopefully they're, right here at 1 o'clock. And they're screaming because they have a student who's going to win a prize, and so they're trying to get him to come down and claim his prize as they're uh, texting or, in this case, they're going to call a phone or yell them out. So, again, they're checking to see if somebody's phone rings. I wish I had somebody's number. That would have been fun. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Rose Holman again wins this ball game 86 to 60. Again, fans, 1 o'clock for the women's game, right. 3 o'clock for the potential men's game. Yep. And we're going to say, yeah, we think it's going to happen, but you Bumping can't say fingers. until 30 minutes after. Yeah, Transylvania is still up uh, halfway through the second half. Manchester, excuse me, Anderson still up. Last five minutes of the game, double digits there uh, at Manchester. So that, uh, you know, bo both of those look good. Bluffton and Defiance had a very tight one. Bluffton up three over Defiance. Defiance right now is the number three seed. So, um, you know, some of these games that are of uh, major consequence. Uh, we know Rose Holman women already won, and we know the Bluffton Beavers women already won. Those are two things that really yeah. kind of solidifies the women getting a home game here. So. Just the men, we're going to have to wait and see what this uh, defiance Bluffton game does. Um, you know, last game of the of the night because of the uh, doubleheader there uh, at Bluffton. Going to go down to the wire, the Bluffton uh, men uh, in 10th ten, ten spot trying to upset defiance in a rivalry game. That's it is nasty. You know it, all about it's that. It's a rivalry game. There's only a couple that are bigger than that, and they're not in the conference. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, again, opportunities abound. Hopefully, we'll have both of those games for you on Sunday. We know we're going to have one. Check back again on Rose Holman website or on Indiana Sports Network. I'm telling you, we had a great time this evening. It was 86 to 60. Rose Holman with the victory. Walter Gordon's my partner. I'm Herb King. We're going to say so long until Sunday when you come back to watch again. It'll be Rose Holman Athletics here from the Holbert Arena for the first round of the HCAC Tournament in Women, and hopefully it's the men. You've been watching Indiana Sports Network. This game is presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. This program is a copyrighted production of Indiana Sports Network and cannot be shown, reproduced, or redistributed in any way or in any form without prior written permission from Indiana Sports Network.